everyone, James Mantle here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, we are gonna be doing another wig recreation. Yes, I think of an iconic hairstyle from the past and I'm gonna try and recreate it for you in like a drag form, you know, make it drag, you know? So I saw this in my comment section quite a bit and you even asked about it in my Q and A. Well, you didn't ask about it, I brought it up, but still it came up, all right? It came up, that's the point that I'm making here. So just, just, just go with it, okay? So I saw people asking for a while now, they wanna see me do Peg Bundy's hair from Married with Children. Yes, Katie Seagal, the legend herself. Don't forget to mention you're wearing a custom styled showbiz blonde available at jamesmansfieldbeauty.com. We're gonna have fun today, okay? Now this wig is actually a wig. It's true to life. She, that wasn't her hair color. It was a wig in the show. So I'm going to recreate it today. It was an auburn, titian, red. Any colorists in the comment section want to let me know what color this is? Because this is the exact hair color she had. I know it was red, like reddish brown maybe. It got a lot more red as seasons progress. But we're going to go with like mid-season titian color Peg Bundy. <laughs> so. Let's get started. I'm gonna prep my wig head and we'll just get right into this. BRB. <laughs> okay, we are back. The wig is now prepped on the block. We are ready to start styling. Now, for Peg Bundy, I feel like the biggest thing that makes the hair is the big fringe in front. So, what I'm gonna do here is section off some hair that we're gonna use for the fringe. And as far as the sideburns go, we can collect those later, but the bangs on top are what I care most about. Like the ones in the very center of her face. So I was gonna section off a triangle at the top of the head. And this wig thankfully has a triangle section out here. So it's pretty easy to divide it. Okay, make sure we have a little bit spilling over the edges so you don't have that hard seam. If you can see like there's a hard seam here, just take away some and flick it back just so you have enough workspace. You don't have to worry about covering that hard seam there. Just looks a little neater. All right, do that. She's looking good. Now I'm gonna do, I don't recommend you do, but I'm gonna do it for myself because I know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna push a couple pins here at the very base just to keep it still because when you're doing bangs, it tends to move all over the place. Now I know how to control my strength, but if you don't know how to do that, definitely just put some back here. But that works for me. Yeah, don't do what I do kids, okay? <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna take that and section it off. It's gonna be divided like that while I work on the rest of the hair. Now, for the rest of it, it needs a haircut. Now, if you look at her hair, she has very, very long hair in the later seasons, but in the middle seasons, the beginning seasons, it's like shoulder length. So that's what we're gonna do here because I don't feel like curling that much hair, kids, okay? <laughs> I'm really not in the mood for it. So, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut it. That, when I layer it, I'll get more volume, where I could totally achieve it with what I have now, but it's gonna be a lot flatter because there's more hair in it. Whereas with the layers, it'll help puff it up more. Now I have to say, I wasn't around for Married with Children when it was airing, or maybe I was, I just wasn't watching like new seasons of it. Like I remember it being in syndication, like it was definitely one of those things that came on like the UPN channel at like midnight. It was right after The Simpsons, it used to come on. And I don't remember really watching it that much because I wasn't allowed to. That was like one of the few shows that was like too adult for me to watch. So I kind of caught it later on in my teens. And by that point, I still didn't really see the appeal of it. It was a lot of fart humor. But I thought Peggy was fabulous and so was Kelly. Like there were moments in it that I really dug. Like when Kelly does Fever, ugh. Or when they had wrestlers on, I remember that. The girls from Glow were on it. All right, I'm just cutting layers into her. All right, I have the hair all cut up now. It's in different layers. So it should lead about like shoulder length when I put it on my head. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start to roller set it. Now, the way her hair is, it's sort of like a bouffant that goes back. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna take some rollers and I'm gonna start doing a roller set that's gonna be positioned to have the hair going back. Because like I said, it's a bouffant that more or less stretches back. And when I was looking at variations of it, she had it short at one point too, but it was always very like 60s inspired. Very much like a lady who was probably a bad girl in school. And like it's held on to those like fashions of that time. Like it's very like Mamie Van Dorm with like the tight tights that are like all the way up to the hip and like very, very tight like leopard print tops and mules, lots of marabou feathers. Very fun. Very much if you ever seen like the Huns in Baltimore, it's very that kind of fashion. Beehives, leopard print, very like my kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just rolling the hair back and I keep doing this. If you ever see my old roller patterns, it's exactly this, where the only thing that's different is that I have it tilted back like that. 
and the rest of the hair on the back of the head is going to be the same direction where it's just rollers all going the same direction backwards to create volume because that's what it's all about and this hair is the volume going back. And I don't have a wig that matches this, so we can't do a double stack today, so I have to make some volume happen in this wig. The stakes are high right now. <laughs> so I'm going to roller set this and we'll come back and talk a little bit more about Katie Seagal. <laughs> Welcome back. It is all set, steamed, and dried in the wig oven. Now, this is the wig, and if I didn't show you before, this is the bang pattern. I have it under rolled here for the very front of it. In the back of the bang, I have it rolling back with the rest because I don't know how much is actually going to join this section of the hair. It's just good to be on the safe side. So that is the roller pattern, just for those of you playing along at home. There we go. So two going down and the rest going back. <laughs> okay, now it's time to start taking this down and see if it curled, because if it curled, I'll be happy if it didn't. Well, we're just gonna work through it. Oh, thank goodness it curled. Okay. All right, I don't have to kill anyone today. That's fabulous. I love that. I love when that's not an option for me. Good, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now let's take our rollers down. Now she had a loose wave to it. I brought the wrong size rollers initially before. It was like the little pink ones and those have been too tight. You want a little bit more loose because it's still like the 60s meets the 80s when it comes to her hairstyle. It's very much like a play on Americana and that typical, you know, stereotypical housewife. Only, you know, gone berserk and to an insane campy destination, which is where we want to go with Peg Bundy. Yeah, it's looking good. It's already almost there. Love that. Now, this hairstyle is actually really, really, really easy to do. Like I said before, it's all the bangs. The fringe do all the work. I've seen in some variations where she'll have like a you know, a butterfly clip in the back and it pushes the bouffant up. That's the one I always think of whenever I think of Peg Bundy, but every picture I Google, it's the same one where it's just the bouffant with the bangs in front. So we're gonna have some fun today and see what we can do. Now, I adore Katie Seagal. I'm into any actress that will wear a crazy, horrendous, and sometimes really, really ugly wig if it means getting to character, you know? I love a character actress. She's right up there with like Carol Kane and all those great, 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 actresses that just get lost inside of a role. She never does the same role twice. I love that. Like I remember Mary But Children was, you know, the, her, her breakout role as Peg Bundy. And then she moved on to be Leela on Futurama. Her voice is her fortune. <laughs> and also she actually had records. I remember I had a CD of hers in high school where it's like her in the sunset with like the dark hair and the fringe. It looks kind of like her Sons of Anakin character. She's just all like dramatic. And I think it was a country album. She like country folkish kind of music, if I recall correctly. Lovely, lovely curls. They don't have to be all together because hers is a little more messy. It's supposed to look like a home set, like something a woman at home could achieve very, very easily. Cause you know, she has a long day of sitting on the couch eating bonbons. <laughs> it's funny, like as I was like doing research for this, I couldn't help but remember all this like crazy nostalgia of Married with Children. Like, I don't remember watching it that much, but like as soon as I started like looking back, it's like, maybe I did watch it a lot. <laughs> like, all the little storylines and all the little bits. I remember like Al having that football game where he's like living in the past of his glory days where he ran like four touchdowns in one game or something. That was like a running joke throughout the whole series. <laughs> it's like, why do I remember this suddenly? Like it all just starts flooding back to you. Okay, we got our bangs. This might not be enough fringe, but we'll see. It looks like it will be. We'll play along with it and see where we can go. Forget about the bangs for now. Let's start our bouffant. Now, I'm gonna start with the very tippy top. And like I said, it's all about the hair going up and back. So we're gonna do flat tees against the base because we want volume and pull some forward so you don't get too messy up front. Let's just start packing it down and let it slowly slip through your fingers so you get a pillow right there. So it's all gonna be the cushion that gets pushed back to give you that big lift. Same thing the next section. Small sections at a time for the front. And when you get to the back, you can get a little more loose handed with it. Down, 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 a flat tease. Pull some to the forward. Pack, 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 and let it loosely fall through your fingers. Join and check your work. It should look like that. We can kind of already see it forming. But we want that lift because we don't have two wigs today, so I have to make it work with one, which is why I did the layers. Now, I actually was watching a documentary on the making of Mary But Children, and like, 
I don't know what it is. Like that show never really grabbed me as much. It was oh, it was a little too mean spirited for me. Let's just say that. Like I can get into like mean spirited humor, but like there was really nothing else there as far as it goes. Like the jokes kind of didn't hold up a lot now. And the humor just really wasn't for me. I remember on the CW network when they replaced that block with just another set of The Simpsons. I don't remember missing Mary with Children that much. But I loved Katie Seagal's other work. Like, oh my God, that is a journey woman actress if you ever heard of one. And like I said before, I love an actress that will wear an ugly wig. And one of the ones I remember seeing, my boyfriend's sister was watching Sons of Anarchy. I never really watched it. Like I saw it in passing. And I remember seeing Katie Seagal's face pop up and she had that horrible wig, like that Raquel Welch, like, like Hollywood block color wig, where it's like brown, blonde, 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 brown, 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 like color blocking in hair. And everything was hideous. Oh my God. And like, I guess her character in that show was like a real badass. And I didn't really watch it, but I remember just walking past the TV and just being so happy that Katie Seagal was in there and working. Okay, I'm getting a good tease going. I'm gonna tease the rest off camera and I will be right back. <laughs> okay, she is all teased out. This is how she looks so far. I mean, she's a very rough draft version of Peg Bundy. So we gotta get her looking how she needs to look. So it's time to smooth our girl out. And now, first things first, I'm gonna spray my work. Avoid the bangs if possible. Okay, now let's start smoothing. Like I said, the rest of this is all basically just a nice smooth out to make it look like a bouffant. And in my case, I gotta try and get as much volume in this hair as I possibly can and work on the direction of the hair to make it all look like it's flowing neatly in one direction. And what you're gonna do is, once it starts looking cute, spray that, okay? Give a nice coat of hairspray and smooth it. And just keep working section by section, okay? Pretty, 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 pretty. Smooth it. Hairspray. Okay, now for the sides. What I noticed here on Katie Seagal's hair is that I think it was a hard front because the hair just falls flat on the sides. Like it just covers up everything here. So I'm not gonna worry too much about making it jot out. Unless you're like wearing earrings or anything like that, then you can. But I'm more or less just gonna direction it to go downward. And do my best to make sure it doesn't cause any breaks in the hair. Let's work on the other side. Like I said, it's a lot of just fluffing your brush through it to get a direction going. If you see hair that's like shifting around underneath that's right on top, just use the pick comb and just pick through it. And that'll help with the direction too. Because some of the hair just like kind of gathers in certain sections, so you use this to push it along to the right direction, put it on its right path. This is one of those 80s hairstyles where you can definitely style the whole thing with a hair pick. And I'm sure they probably did, women that wore their hair like this. Like this is the only tool in their arsenal. <laughs> Get it nice and smooth in the section you need it and the rest can all just be picked and curled everywhere you want to. Now I grew up in Wisconsin, so I saw a lot of ladies who wore their hair like this unironically. <laughs> like an 80s meets 1960s kind of like powerful mullet very much the style in the 90s in milwaukee wisconsin you saw a lot of ladies at the grocery store rocking this or like like the singer in the selena band like the one that had like the full crop on the top with like the spiky hair and the long like mullet in the back but the rest is all short i saw a lot of women wearing that at the supermarket like working the checkout counter <laughs> comment down below if anyone in your town still wears that hair to this day I believe it's called like the tennessee mullet all right now, one thing to keep doing as you smooth it back is use your palm and kind of pump it up. Use the pick too. Like pump, 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 pump. And this is our way of like cheating volume since we only have one wig to make this work. All right, I'm gonna smooth this front section and the back is real, real simple. Once you get the direction going on this whole section to about here, the rest is all just curls. You just pick through with your fingers and spray it. It's just all, you know, messy curls. Very, very simple. All right, let's just keep doing that and I will be back shortly. <laughs> All right, now we're on the back. Now what I did here is I just take some hairspray and spray the back curls. And with my fingers, I just push it on up like that and encourage the messy curls in the back. Like that. Very, very 80s. Doesn't matter if it's stiff because it's costume hair anyway. Okay. Now onward to the front. 
Now we're just about there. Now the wig is almost done. We just have to work on the fringe. Now the fringe she had is very, very dense. So what I'm gonna do here to sort of cheat that is I'm gonna take my teasing brush and I'm gonna tease the fringe together. Just to add a little more volume there. Pull some down, pull some down, pull some down, pull some down like that. So we have a nice little cloud of fringe. Make it combine together. Now, take my pick, push it down to the center there, the very base, get a strong base. Pull up. Okay. Now we have a nice, dense, strong base. When I start to smooth it out, you'll get a nice, dense bang. So, our smoothing brush, hold it at an angle like that and sort of like pushing it upward with your hand. Going to smooth down our bangs. Don't be afraid to gather up at the ends there to create some directionality. Okay, and we can fan it out. And we should have a good bang going now. Get your sides. Be careful when you work the sides, you don't want to overwork it and then it starts to fall more than the others. You want to keep balance going. Okay. Of course, you could already cheat this by doing like a clip-in bang and not have to worry about any of it. But if you want to have a bang permanently in the wig, here's what you do. Okay, now that's good. I'm going to start by cutting the bang little by little because she had sort of a long fringe. And we could always trim it to my face afterward. So I'm going to cut little by little. Start fanning it out. And it should fan under just like that. And you can spread it out to get a nice thick bang like she had. Hairspray. And it's under rolled so it'll curl up like that. Push up teasing so it gets nice balance. So not one side is low, drooping lower than the other. And we just turn her over for you so you can see her. Voila, Peg Bundy has arrived. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna do some finishing touches and I'm gonna try her on. We'll be right back with the final result. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, this is the final result. Oh my God. <laughs> It looks just like it. I'm actually really impressed with myself at how quickly I did this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I'm living, I'm living. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I have to say, I love this wig and I love Katie Seagal. That is truly a woman who's never been a wig she could say no to. <laughs> Oh, I'm in love. I love it. Now, this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. <laughs> Use my code JAMES20 or Mansfield for 20% off your purchase, plus free shipping. Now I would like to take a moment, a Ven moment, where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Kevin, A.L., Matthew, Tim, Melissa. And I also have some PayPal emojis. I would like to thank Dennis and Violet for the 57 cents. <laughs> well, it's a thought that counts, Violet. <laughs> Thanks, hon. Now, thank you all so much for your tips on Venmo and the PayPal emojis. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have to say, I had a blast recreating this hairstyle. If there's another one you want to see, make sure to let me know down below. I'd love to hear some suggestions. I heard Barbara Eden rumbling in the background. We might do her later. Oh, this was fabulous and so much fun. Thank you all so much for watching. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Hit the outro. Click here and watch my Q&A and transforming all a young wig or watch me transform wigs from Dollarama. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll make sure Corey Feldman plays you in our true crime retelling. So click it.